So what is happening, people? Hey, guys. Uh, today, uh, we are here at the end of January. Water's cold, fish are lethargic. But hey, we're going to catch the fish today. We're going to fish a variety. We're going to try casting these fish. And we're going to also vertical fit, uh, vertic give them a vertical presentation, whichever works. Fish are scattered. I've been finding them in the coves off the main lakes and they, ju they just scatter. There's no rhyme to reason. A lot of the mouth of the coves has suspended crappie up in the water column. The day is cloudy. If it was sunny, the sunnier it is, the higher they'll rise in the water column. They just like lizards. They like to get out there and sun, especially those old big ones. That's what we have, the big ones today. Hey guys, stay with us and hope you enjoy the video. That's a good one. Alright, let me pick him up. That was a California quick release. So that's a good fish right there. Um, he hit that uh, he hit that shoreline with the white tail. I think I'm gonna put that on the bottom. That's the second one that's didn't come up there. I lost one just a few minutes ago. Came up there and hit that one. And you know, hey, that's one reason I fish two different colors. And that is the blue chartreuse on the bottom. I just been playing around colors. I'm telling you, right on this full moon, please comment below. But I have noticed over the years, that full moon week, a little tough crappy fishing in my opinion, because I think they fed all night long. And they just not really hungry. I don't know how many crappy today that I've had to come up, look at the lure, follow the lure, bump the lure, but not eat the lure. I mean a lot. And so, hey, but you know, keep changing colors, keep persevering, changing colors, and uh, fishing different spots, different lures you find something that works, right? Got him. It's a pretty good one right here. And he ate that thing. He ate it. Kaboom. Good fish. That char lime. I think that's it, Dennis. Ain't that, ain't that that char lime with that white tail? That's part of that banana series that Dennis is going to come out with. Uh, hey guys, while we uh, switch rods, if you don't mind, would you click the like button and subscribe to the channel? That really keeps us doing what we're doing. Hey, and I appreciate all my subscribers. you to look at that. He switched up. He went and hit that banana blue on the top. That is some of the new colors that Lake Country Baits got, that banana blue. And you know, that fish went up there and switched. And you noticed I'm pretty close to the bank, but I'm, I'm about 10 feet of water. <laughs> the wind has really picked up today. So I was out in the middle, but man, I've been having to fight the wind. So I just tucked up here close and I'm bumping along seeing Look, spooked the fish a little bit more, but I just bumped up here. Wind's coming over my head and uh, just trying to stay away from that wind. Well, I had it on, I turned it off. That's a pretty good crappie. I caught him on a chaos bait. And that is that blue moon color. Now, first time I threw it, he reacted good. And that's kind of what I've been looking for is to find a bait that these fish react to really quickly. 
I have them throw it. I have them following the bait, following the bait, bumping the bait. I mean, literally, they follow the. That's a second cast, second fish, blue moon, muddy water. I just been putting on all kinds of colors in this color. For whatever reason, it's a decent, good, it's a good crappy. Boom. Really good, decent crappy right there, y'all. Good fish, 11 inch fish. Boom. Let's see if we can do that again. So I'm just casting to these fish. Uh, these, the water's a little bit clearer now. And these fish are a little bit on the spooky side. Of course, you see the sun is out. And uh, I just want to give them... Three cast, three fish, y'all. Now that fish seen it, didn't react. Waited a minute and then took off after it. Another good, another good crappy. Kaboom. Blue moon. Chaos. <clears throat> now I tell you what I've been doing about two hours today. I have to tell on myself. I was bass fishing. I probably caught 20, 25 bass. It was schooled up on a point. I couldn't help myself. I had to put a crankbait on. And I had some fun. Hey, it's a whole lot better than it was the other day out here, ain't it? As far as the weather. I think I got on too many clothes. Yeah, I had to take all mine off. There he is right there. Another. Hey, I think we found a winner today. All right, let's see if we can get in on some of these fish and vertical jigs. Hello, shad down on the bottom. Let's move up towards there. That's a school of crappie right there. See him coming in at 24 feet? That's a group of crappie. So I'm going to pitch out to them. There's the bait. See the bait's behind them? That's what you want. We just swim that bait right by them. Give it a little twitch. Got one. Had one follow, but. He didn't need it. Boom, got him. Got him. Just that easy, you know. Now, I've switched the colors on my vertical jigs too to uh, reflect blue. So I've switched my colors, I switched my vertical jigs to blue as well because the fish seem to react to blue, which they always react, react pretty good in this lake of blue. I'm gonna clean that lens. Pretty good fish right off the front of here. See if we can get down to him. Right up underneath us. We want to lower that lower down. Boom, got it. Hmm. All right up underneath us. We want to lower that lower down. Boom, got it. 
Hmm. See how the other fish it looks bigger? It seems like that blue. bigger fish yet. Y'all keep up with him for me. Y'all supposed to keep up with him. What's wrong with y'all? There's one. It's 16. Now, I have set my live scope to where it's, you know, I minimize the forward looking just so I can see further. And when you do that, uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. There's a good fish right there. He's pretty good sized fish. He's following it, but he ain't sure about it. Let's see how far he'll come. He backed off of it. Tells me he's a good one. He's a good one. Crappy right there. See that group of crappy right there? He went up and hit the chartreuse tail. Yeah. That's the blue with the chartreuse tail right there. I like that little chartreuse tail. That's a good fish, ten and a half. Yeah. See that group of crappy right there at 10? Let's see if we can keep up with them. Told you it was gonna catch a fish. Look at that pig right there. Good. Look, he eat that Lake Country bait all the way down in his throat. Ooh. That is a good fish, y'all. Good gracious. Let her go. Let's do that again. Well, you noticed he came up and actually hit the blue. Uh, they seem to key in on those blue colors today. Blue colors, that shoreline, been a good color. I'll show you this color one more time. And I actually pulled the bag out. So this is called the LC Shad in the winter. Boom. It's got a blue, but still it's got that chartreuse tail. You know how fish looks. See, look at the back of that fish's tail. See that light color in that fish's tail right there? Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video on that fish there. I may bass fish some more in a little while, but all in all, the day started out slow. Um, I bass fished earlier and uh, it just came down the lake and the water still stained. I played with a lot of colors today. The fish started off, they was very lethargic. They didn't want to bite, probably because they fed last night. As the evening goes on, they'll probably bite even better. Anyway, you remember, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Don't forget to hit the like button, 
That really helps the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out. It helps me keep doing what I'm doing. Hey, guys, and you remember, it's a wild life, and I'll see you on the water.